okay welcome again so in this section we are going to be looking at two things that is creating the provider for adding a tax and also deleting a tax okay and uh, then in the next one we are going to implement those logic or if we have time we can do everything here so i'm going to show you how to do that real quick so because i won't be starting afresh from this stuff so because you already created providers for our login and sign up using post request so it's still the same method using post request with the same body so i'm going to make this one look so fast okay so we go to our provider and here I'll, i'm going to create a new folder called task provider like so then inside this task provider i'm going to add i have one add tax provider so this is going to handle the for adding a tax and then we have another one which is delete delete tax provider so i'm just trying to separate everything okay to so that we can actually understand it properly so inside this add tax provider i already have a method so i'm just going to paste it here now okay so this is the method okay so uh what is happening here now is this very simple first thing first we have the add tax provider that is tense chain notifier and then we have our getters and our setters for listening to the status and also the response and then the act tax function that takes the string of title okay remember i said we are only going to pass the title which is from this title here okay and then the token okay i can just remove this so the token is going to come from database provider okay because it's a future so that's why i need to await it so get token and get user id remember i told you that we're going also going to use the token and the user id going back to the uh the page you can see creating a tax adding a new tax we need to pass the user id and the the authorization header needs the token as well all right that's why i'm actually getting the token okay to actually uh authorize us to know what we what, what is happening so right here we have this url but let's see how we did it for the auth provider to get the url first thing we did was to create a base url here okay and then yep just call it here app url okay so in this case i'm going to change this from url to url yeah all right so we get the task now uh, this is we creating a new tax now so let's look at the endpoint api again so it has this is the path tax so don't forget to put this backslash here this forward slash okay all right so now we have the start time we are going to pass this one dynamically so i'm not going to be creating any form of date time picker or stuff like that and then we have an end time and uh, reminder period we're just going to leave all the stuff there then the user id and the title so the user id is actually coming from this user id that we created that we saved in our database so i want you to go and watch the previous videos if you the previous chapter if you didn't watch those parts so same thing is happening here final results await http the response uh we pass the uri then we encode the body which is this body we are sending and then we create a header you can see this is a post request as well so if you look here it's actually a post request too okay then here now we pass the headers authorization bearer and now i pass the token so depending on the api you are working some api use b okay for short some api which we will be working with use token some use lowercase token so you want to know some use uh, api key but in this case we are using bearer so you need to ask your backend developer or any api you are using just make sure you look at the documentation properly okay to see how it works then this is just printing out the status code to know what is happening and then if the response or status code is 200 or 201 that means it's successful we print out the message which is to tax added successfully else we show this and we also have our clear message okay so this is the provider for adding a new tax very simple i'm going to upload this to github for we all to see then let me create another one again for deleting the to do so i believe we all know already that you actually need to delete a to do okay we actually need to delete a to do so uh, a tax so i'll be pasting this here all right so my bad i think i copied the wrong thing okay so right here now we are going to be pasting okay uh we have the delete tax still the same method but in this case now we are passing the task id 
because if you look at this if you look at this uh this API, you can see the delete tags. You're actually passing a tax ID as a parameter. But now we are not passing it as a header or as a body, but rather as a parameter. So we need to pass the get the tax ID first. So what I will do here is to okay save uh, import that. Then the URL. Where are we getting it from? Okay. Uh, let me go back to this page and do the same thing I did. Okay. And we'll go back here now and add this URL here. Alright, so you need to import your app URL as well. Okay, so now, and uh, yeah, this is the, the path URL, tax, then the tax ID. You can see the way I concatenated it by passing tax ID. So now there is no body, and you can see the post method is actually delete. The, the, the ones we are using before was post, but this one now is delete. Then if you are working for updates, it's going to be put, but for this is delete. How did I know that it's delete? Very simple go to the uh, the documentation you're going to see that the type here is delete then for the update is actually put so you use put the tax id but in that case you need to pass body to as a status of completed okay so that's it and now we can okay authorization still doing the same thing the error token so i got the token from here and the tax ID. Now we are not passing user ID because it's not needed. It's going to identify everything from the token. But some API will require you to pass user ID. So you want to do the same thing we did here. Okay, by getting the user ID as well. Alright. And uh results status code. But in some case, let's say you want to get other additional data, you can actually create a parameter and then pass it whenever you call this method. Okay. Then if the response is 200, we do this. If it's not, we do this, blah, 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 and stuff like that. Okay? So that's all for this uh, part. We have seen how to create the logic and the logic for actually adding the provider for actually adding uh, the to-do and also deleting the to-do. But it does not end here. We need to register these providers too. Remember? Yeah. So add tax provider and delete tax provi provider need to be registered before we can use it. So we need to go to our main dot that where we have these uh, providers. So I'll create two providers. One is for add tax provider, and the second one is going to be for delete tax provider, like so. Okay. So we can save that up, and that this will wrap up uh, this uh, this video. Okay, for now. Then the next video we are going to see how to integrate the logic and uh, make the post. Uh, the post request, the delete request, the delete, and also add. Okay, for deleting, deleting will actually be the last because we need to fetch the to do first before we delete, right? So we are going to see how to upload, add, uh, add it to do to the database. All right. So let's, yeah, we're going to see how to add it to do to the database.